Well, of course, I had heard of uh, and watched for uh, years uh, Ken Griffey Sr. And then I heard about uh, his son, who was a uh, phenom that was uh, 13, 14 years old and hitting these uh, long, long home runs. I can remember Junior as a young kid watching him play a few times, but when, once he really got into those high school years, that's when heads started turning. I knew that there was some really high interest in, in Kenny. It started with some area scouts, and then uh, there were more scouts there than they were uh, fans. I mean, they would take tape measures out past the fence. They're out measuring up to 350, 400, because that's basically how far he was hitting. Toward the end, there became less and less scouts, even to the point where there were only two or three in the stands, because everybody knew that Junior was not going to last past the second or third pick. The best decision this organization ever made was in the June draft of 1987. OK, we're ready to go then with the first round. The first selection goes to Seattle. The ball club was struggling in the Northwest to, to put together a winning team. But they really needed somebody to rally around. They really needed a superstar. After batting close to 500 in high school, Ken Griffey Jr. has taken a few steps on his own. Major League Scouting Report says the kid is faster and more powerful than his dad. Atlanta was going to give him a few dollars more to say he wasn't going to sign and go ahead and sign with the Atlanta Braves being I was on that team. We talked about, you know, different things uh, a couple days before the draft. Does he want to go number one? Can we sign him? And I had my opportunity to say, no, I'm only going to, to one team or I'm not signing. But not everybody can say that they're the first pick in the country. Seattle's selection is George Kenneth Griffey, center fielder from Muller High School in Ohio. How do you feel? I feel fine. He feels fine. <laughs> there are now two Ken Griffeys in professional baseball. The Seattle Mariners using the number one pick in the nation on a 17-year-old center fielder with the genes of a major leaguer. It's going to take a few years, and we're not going to rush him. And, uh, but we hope that in four or five years, he'll be a star player for us.